Hey guys, what's up? It has been a while, and I know I say this at the start of every video because I feel like it takes me a long time to make another video of the fall I ask. This is my little muffin bubba. You good boy. Um, I don't think I've ever shown my cats on a, on a video, but this is him. But I am back with a vinyl collection video number four. And um, I have picked up quite a lot of records since the last time I made one of these videos, which was like last year in the fall. One of my favorite things in this collection is probably my one and only um, 7 inch. This is a Julian Baker 7 inch um, record store day exclusive. I know you can't really see it on the actual sticker, but it says record store day exclusive. This is a 7 inch of two Julian Baker songs that are not released on any albums. Um, on the side A, it's Red Door, very well known for her to play this live. And she, there's also like a video of her uh, playing a live recording of that song um, a few years ago and she started and I know it's a very important song to her so I'm glad that there's a studio recorded version of this. And then the other side is apparently like a song that was written around the Turn Out the Lights um, album process and she didn't put that on the record so it's the side beat of this which is conversation piece and both songs are amazing my girlfriend actually got it for me she participated in record store day for me because this was really the only thing i wanted and i was like hey if you get this i'll pay you back she's like nah i'll just get it for you and she did and i appreciate it and it is pressed on red and like I said, this is probably the only 7 inch I will get, but um, this uh, 7 inch actually wasn't that limited either. I think it's limited to um, 4,000 copies. Also, another record that my girlfriend got for me, this was like a Christmas gift, um, this most recent Christmas. This is Aerosmith's Get Your Wings. This is my favorite Aerosmith album. This is pressed on 180 gram. A very nice, perfect quality pressing. 180 gram vinyl, just there's something about that heavier, that thickness that makes it sound so much better. Um, and it's very crisp and clear. And like I said, my favorite Aerosmith record got me into the band. I remember having this on CD and I would play it on when I used to have a CD player before an iPod. I'd always listen to it on um, uh, the bus ride to school. And now I have it in a vinyl copy and it's great. And this is pressed on standard black. Paramore's Brand New Eyes. This is something I've wanted in my collection for a very long time. It's my favorite Paramore record. One of my favorite albums ever. I have it tattooed on me. Just so y'all know. Um, and I was really hoping that they would press um, a cool colored pressing of this. Because I think there's a very... Uh, like a first or a second pressing of this. It's on like an olive green if I'm not mistaken I think that was the only pressing they made. It's super rare and then I have it on black um, But Newbury Comics Actually came out with an exclusive and I don't know. I really like the color. It's like this tealish Bluish green teal marbly color. It kind of looks more blue in the camera but it's honestly, I think it's more like a tealish, like a bluish green. It sounds great um, playing and it's just so cool to hear this on vinyl. Um, I love this record so much. Um, Phoebe Bridger's Stranger in the Alps. This was like one of my favorite albums of 2017 and I got this um, when I saw her on her other music project, Better Oblivion Community Center that she does with Connor Oberst. And they came out the record recently this year, but they were touring and I saw them in Rhode Island and they had her record there and I bought it because I did not have it on vinyl yet. And honestly, this is just a record from start to finish that I feel like is very easy to listen to on vinyl. It's just something nice to listen to in your room. It's a very vinyl friendly record, I think. Um, and I love it. I love it a lot. I didn't have it. It's pressed on black, this copy. This is Tiger's Jaws Charmer. I got this um, when I saw Ch Tiger's Jaw was touring for 
A very few selective last balance and composure shows, RIP balance and composure, but they're farewell shows. And I only have like one other Tiger's Draw vinyl, and Tiger's Draw did so good live, and I was like, I need to buy something. And so I got Charmer, which I do love this album a lot, actually. This is their, I don't know, I think this is like their third album? Right? Because I always forget about that other one that comes after the self-titled. But this is Charmer, and there's a lot of really good songs on this. Um, and I wasn't expecting, like, a really cool pressing, but there is a really cool pressing that I got. And it's like this purpley pink smoky translucent color. And I really like it. I don't know why. I feel like it kind of goes with the, um, the whole vibe of the album and kind of the album art too because the, the rose flower on the front. This is a cool one. This is um, Fen Lily's On Hold. Um, Fen Lily, I had no idea who she was until I saw her open for Lucy Dacus. Fen Lily was really cool too. Just like her and acoustic guitar and then she had like her friend up there doing um, I think like just uh, lead guitar a little bit like electric lead guitar. Um, but she blew me away, her set blew me away, and I was checking out a couple of her songs before, um, but I didn't really know her super well, so I decided to buy her album on vinyl. And I met her at the merch table, she actually sold this to me, and she wrote, For Sarah, with love, because there's a heart, and then she signed it. And she was just super sweet, and we talked about her hatred for Cracker Barrel, because she lives in, like... England and she said that she had a terrible experience at a Cracker Barrel so we talked about it and this is pressed on a very pretty yellow and I feel like the yellow goes so well with the sound of this album this album has like a, a brightness to it but like a brightness in a sad way if that makes sense next I got Better Oblivion Community Centers debut record which I think they just call this it's just their self-titled pretty sure um, and this is great this is honestly one of my favorite albums of 2019 I know I haven't talked about um, anything of this year that's come out yet but this is definitely one of my favorite things Phoebe Bridgers Connor Oberst um, their voices really complement each other yeah the black one I was hoping it would be the translucent orange, which is like the color that everybody seems to have. And I think it's limited to like a thousand copies. But I bought the black and I was like, mm, whatever. And then my girlfriend was like, no, I'm buying you the orange. And she didn't even tell me. And she like bought it for me as like a surprise. And I was like super wowed. So I have two copies, but if anybody wants the black Better Oblivion Community Center vinyl, let me know, and I can sell it to you just for shipping price. But here, next is Boy Genius's um, self-titled EP, I guess. Um, and this is how I found out about Lucy Dacus, who I recently saw this year with my girlfriend. Um, and this is just, it's Julian Baker, Phoebe Bridgers, Lucy Dacus, all three of them like a super group, if you will. As separate artists, they are incredible in their own right, but together they just make such amazing music. And it's really cool, too, to actually see Julian Baker, um, since I'm such a big fan of her, do something kind of outside of her normal solo stuff, as well as Phoebe Bridgers, because I know her music pretty well. And I just, I love these songs, and like I said, that's how I found out about uh, Lucy Dacus as well. And I just, I love this. EP. I got it at the show that they did where all three of them played solo sets and then they did a Boy Genius shit set. But sadly, this is not the tour exclusive. I thought I was getting the tour exclusive when I bought this. No, it's standard black and I think it's because I got there late. Um, I think that's why. And I think they only have limited copies and they just have black. Is the Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. Um, this is... Um, a masterpiece of a record. This is my favorite David Bowie album. Um, like a couple months ago I got really into David Bowie's music. I watched this documentary about him and it kind of just made me appreciate him so much more as a musician and like as an icon. 
and um, I found this in my mom's record collection because she's she doesn't have a record player anymore. And she's like, you can take whatever. And I saw this, and it's the original pressing from like 1972. Wow, that's crazy. And this thing still plays great. It really doesn't sound warpy at all. It's kind of got like its own concept, talking about space. This character is Ziggy Stardust, which is like David Bowie, I guess, it, like his separate persona. We got one of my favorites up in here. This is the mains Can't Stop Won't Stop. An absolutely classic album for me that got me into pop rock music um, when I was like in eighth grade. I heard a couple songs off this record and really like loved the main at that time. And that was probably like that was like 08, 09. Um, a lot of really good songs on this. And they came out with a um, couple of different pressings and I kind of was late to the party so I got the pressing that like whatever they had left. It's a cool gate fold that I just have to show y'all. Just black with um, some gold splatter on it. There's not much splatter. I guess it kind of looks like almost like a smash than a splatter. It's very... the camera's really not doing it justice. I got Me Without You's untitled album. This was one of my favorites of last year. I saw them actually very recently, a couple, like a week ago, basically. Probably while you're watching this, maybe longer than that. And um, I bought this record because I really wanted it on vinyl, and I love this record. It really got me into Me Without You. Um, and this is the blue pressing, um, Me Without You's 10 Stories. This is an album I really like a lot. I love it from start to finish, and it sounds amazing. The pressing for this is honestly really freaking cool and goes really well with some of the colorway of the album cover. Um, it's just like a clear splatter with blue and purple in it. But not least, I'm pretty sure this is the pressing that my girlfriend got me that I was trying to tell you guys about earlier. But this is the translucent orange. I was late to the party, but she got it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my cat also at the beginning. Like always, stay brutal, stay tuned for more videos, and see you guys later. Peace.